That's a great question, actually. Um, fomite spread, which is on surfaces, um, is very uncommon, but it's not zero percent risk. So there is some risk associated with fomite spread. Um, what I do, and I don't, I don't even know how if we have any great data on this. But what I personally do is when I'm getting like groceries delivered, or if I'm getting the mail, I handle it with my I don't wash anything down like grocery boxes or anything like that. But I do wash my hands when I'm done handling anything that comes from outside the house. And I do, you know, if, if I'm like now if I'm, you know, I try to to take things and kind of put the mail on a table and maybe not just open it all right away. But I do wash my hands really well after I handle anything from outside the house. And the same thing goes for if I go to the store, I keep a sanitizer in my car and I sanitize before I touch my steering wheel or my stick shift or any of that stuff. I just make sure that my hands are clean and just as long as you keep cleaning your hands, the hands washing is really important for that kind of fomite spread. Yeah. Apparently, it is unlikely we would catch COVID from handling cash. Why is that? Non-porous polymer banknotes in particular would appear to be an ideal surface for pathogens to survive. I think it's the same. I, I mean, I think of the, the money as the same as like groceries and mail. Like anything you're handling that's from outside your house, I would just make sure after you handle it that your hands are clean. Mm -hmm. Like if you're getting change from a store and you get it from the person, you don't know that that person wasn't just rubbing their nose and like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you, you would just treat that cash the same way you'd treat like a piece of mail. Just after you handle it, put it in your wallet, you'd ha sanitize your hands and then make sure they're very clean before you touch your face or anything else. Mm -hmm. 